is a big Sasquatch sized animal tried to jump out, attack its prey of some sort. And you can see that there was a scuffle here on the ground. My senses are telling me. Yeah. But I think what I think you can tell here, like his hand, you see his foot here, but much larger than my foot. A hand. He was definitely sneaking on something. And he, he spun out and then he was facing this way. I'm not sure. And I can tell just by the footprints he weighs three three hundred and fifty six pounds. <laughs> Exactly. 19 <laughs> broken that it's a good day. Steelhead fishing in Alaska. You know, it's just one of those things. Once you've done it, you just can't wait to get back. You know, we get to head back to Alaska. It's such a great opportunity. Glacier Bear Lodge reached out. We're gonna go meet up with my friend Jared, who's a crazy steelhead nut, if you watch the shows from last year. Jared and I get to pick apart this river in Alaska again in the, on the Sea Tuck. Yeah, can't wait. We're waiting for that guy right there. There he is. He's about to get a roundhouse to the face wearing these babies. Hi, buddy. I did my hair for you. You got a mohawk. I got a mohawk. Well, I wanted to be seven feet tall, I made it. So my buddy Jared from Yakima Bay, he's figured that for whatever reason now, when we meet up in Alaska, that he's got to dress up. Yeah. Wild fish, wild places. <laughs> my name is Tex Kwon Do. Do. Oh boy, it's Rex Kwon Do. I mean, a seven foot tall dude in an American flag outfit with a mohawk and size 19 shoe Air Jordan. There's my friend right there. <laughs> That's the way you start off a fishing trip. <laughs> we're, we're, we're expecting a special guest. One of the reasons we're coming to Glacier Bear is we know all of our friends. Our friends guide up here. So of course, Steve Chrysler and little Jared show up with big Jared to meet us at the, at the airport. But first, we're gonna get down to some business and talk fishing. We just went and you know, a little R&D. Nice. And they're there, and we're gonna have to earn them. Yeah, but you know the program? Uh, like it's a very bucket. similar, exactly. In the same spots. Those no first shit. first two holes out of the <laughs> gate, you know? <laughs> yeah, they're there. Got one of them. For me, steelhead fishing is my favorite thing to do ever, right? Like, I love steelhead. I catch a lot of fish across the country, but steelhead fishing is my favorite thing to do. And steelhead fishing in Alaska has now become my favorite, on top of my favorite thing to do. And then steelhead fishing in Alaska with my buddy Dennis has become my favorite, on top of my favorite, on top of my favorite thing to do. And when I get back here, it's just like, I don't know, it's just the coolest thing ever. For me, it's, it's, it's the overall experience from top to bottom, left to right. You know what the coolest part about my entire outfit is? is I got a knife to match it. God bless America. God bless America. <laughs> Look at a knife. That right there, if you're in Missouri, you'd call that biscuits and gravy because you just got fed, son. <laughs> so as you can oh, see here with the, uh, the, like the pre-game meeting with everybody, and what we learned last year, it was all a plug bite. It was uh, the water temps were cold, the fish were a little lethargic, but they were there. And the only thing that was doing any good consistently was plug fishing. And Jared and I put that pattern together. We crushed them out. Um, we just, it got better and better as the, the week went on. And so we kind of refined everything that we learned last year, talking to all our buddies here. And we came back with a game plan. It's not gonna be much different, but we've got no. a little bit of different ideas and, and different things. You know? You know, we go to bed super excited and we feel like we've got a really good game plan, you know, to hammer out some steelhead tomorrow. This is why I don't roll in an Escalade, not because I'm not a straight up player, because I am. I just can't get in it. <laughs> Wake up in the morning, first day of any trip, you're just like, can't sleep, so excited. Oh, yeah. God, the steelhead are just waiting. We made, a, we made a decision last night after talking to everybody that 
Um, our strategy was going to be similar to what we did last year and even the year before that when we came. And that is put on later than all the other boats. So everybody got up and there's three or four different lodges here. So everybody gets to the boat launch at roughly the same time. And they're just big aluminum boat armada that just jumps around from hole to hole and crowds each other out. And, you know, especially our first day learning the river again, we decided to hold back. We need to get our gear ready and, and, and take a little bit of time. That way we let everybody get down below, the holes rest, and then we can come through there and absolutely wreck them. Every day, you gotta put the pieces of the puzzle together. Once you figure the puzzle out, even the next day, the light conditions change, water conditions change. A lot of times it's not exactly the same the next day. Sometimes it is, but a lot of the times that changes too. But year to year, that's what's fun. It's like the challenge of figuring out what the puzzle is before you. And you know that's why we love to do this so much is, is that element of, of the fishing, you know, that element of the sport rather than just catching the fish. Of course, landing a 20 pound steelhead is also a lot of fun. So Jerry keeps mentioning, it just doesn't feel right to him with the plug. It feels like more bobber water. So we stop, we get out, and he starts throwing a, a bobber, a float and a jig, and immediately hooks a fish. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Broke the ice. Broke the ice on, yeah. the, on the hair jig. Yeah. That's a 16th ounce maxi jig, baby. Right on. All right. We got our first Sea Tuck Steelhead of the trip right here. 16th on the, ounce maxi jig. Something we didn't catch any fish on last time. No, nah, you got to change it up, though. We've tried everything today in this low clear water. I do well on jigs, so. Obviously this beautiful fish uh, wanted it as bad as we wanted him. So look at the pretty gill plate though. Look at that, look at that color right there. It's gorgeous on all the neat spots. A few spots on his head, beautiful spots on his tail. Well, she's ready to go back. There you go. See you, buddy. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Fish. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Piece of the puzzle starting to come together. Start paying attention to some of that stuff. Oh, dude, it's taking me too. <laughs> the camera guy is helping put a rod out for us, and he's like, What's going on? And the rod's going, hey -ya, hey -ya. You gotta love that. Maglip takedowns are so much fun for steelhead, right? And this fish, you know, gives us a little show, but when you're plugging for steelhead, it's just something that it's in your blood. And sometimes you gotta trick them. Look at that. On the pink. On the pink. Misty River. Beautiful fish. Nice and colored up. Look at that. Yeah, what a gorgeous fish, man. You gotta love that. That plug takedown and the and the the fight afterwards. And the plug fish are just more aggressive. When you it's like Jared was saying, when you when you get that one takedown on a plug, you want it over and over. Just like drugs for me. Like, I don't want anything else. I, I mean the bobber's cool, I like but I want to see that plug take I, down. It's, it's addicting, man. It's just something that's just a unique deal. All right, buddy. Thank you, Mr. Fish. See you later. Yeah. Yeah. Just a matter of time. Had a baby. Had a baby. <laughs> yes. All right. Dude, nice. on the out, so that was the outside plug. Yeah. It was about 20 feet from the boat. Yeah. So I don't think the ore thing is a deal. No. I don't know. It's funny trying to figure it out, but pink and blue was the jig I got the fish on. Pink right. and blue is the plug, so. Maybe it's a color pattern, but if you look at the water right here, you can see where it darkens up in that small stretch. And that's where that that's where this pink plug was, is right there. And that's where you bit it. So, you know, we got faster flowing water than we have been plugging. So yeah. I and, think that's what we look for. And, and it was, see, like at the top, I said like, you know what, let's plug it, let's plug it. It, yeah. it actually looks good, it, it looks did. right. And yep. that's the whole putting the pieces of the puzzle together. You yeah. know, you start feeling what looks good. And the rest of this still looks pretty good. It's yeah. a little shallower, but. A little shallow, not bad though. We know, awesome. we're looking, we're, you know, we kind of put a piece of the puzzle together. So now we just fine tune the motor. So we've got a little bit of the puzzle together. Something pink.
As the day starts to warm up, bugs are starting to hatch, you can just kind of, it feels a lot more fishy. And sure enough, we start running floats, we're getting in these spots, we're putting it together, and boom, boom, boom. Three fish, four takedowns. <laughs> I mean, all of a sudden, hero to zero. I mean, zero to hero. <laughs> Yeah, bro. When they're out of the ocean, I mean, we're at what, six miles from the ocean, so they're hot, man. They're feisty. They're, you know, that salt water's still in them, and they're just different. You know, they're meaner. I mean, this isn't a very big fish. He's just probably seven, eight pounds, but you get one that's in that 17, 18 pound range, they're going to get on you. Yeah! Yeah! We're fishing multiple presentations today. This one here happened to come on a 16 millimeter soft bead. Um, so we've got a plug fish, a bead fish, and a jig fish, right? Yeah, and missed one on a jig. And too. missed one on a jig, so yeah. it's I, important to keep yeah. doing different things. It is, and you know, to come here thinking, you know, it's going to be all about the plugs, but luckily you brought all your other stuff, yeah. and you know, it really is. And like we were talking, there's a, you know, the, the river's changed so much. Bye, bye, Mr. Fishy. Thank you. I'm talking about get him, get him, get him. So my buddy Jared, he's 6'9". He has a size 19 shoe, which means he has a size 20 2 0 wader boot. He's got he's hooked up to a fish, and he's trying to get out of that boat to go fight this fish because it's a big steelhead. Yeah, dude, that fish is That's heavy, a big bro. fish. That fish is heavy. Boom! Yeah. I still got it. I still got it. Nobody panic. This big day would say, nobody panic. Nobody panic. Fish is still on. Big guy down, big guy up, big on. He hangs his little toe, his pinky toe, which is the size of my kneecap, on the edge of the oar and goes man down, fighting the fish. And I'm watching, because I'm about to make fun of him, and he doesn't let the fish have any slack. He gets up like a ballerina and runs down there and fights his fish. Oh! Yeah, that's a beautiful fish, man. Fun fight. You'll love that, right? All right, here you go back, Mr. Fish. Thank you. That's a long fish, buddy. Yeah, he's long. Long fish. Look at that big sucker. Yeah, baby. Nice. I said, we keep messing that up. He's like, hey, I want to go this way. You want to go that way. Woo! Hey, from now on, high fives only. High fives only. High fives only. Wild fish five places. We only high five right now. Nice. You know, we, we, we started to dial in this pattern and then it was just like a flurry. Boom, boom, boom. One fish, another fish, another fish. And these fish are massive. There he is. Yep. Yep. Pull it down low. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, on the jig. What a tank. He is just forking oh. it out. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yes, yes. High fives only. High yeah. fives only. Oh my god, number 10 for the day. Dude, Absolutely killing. What a fish. That's a tanker, dude. You know, it's so cool. We, you know, we nice like we said, but as soon as we put the boat in, putting the pieces of the puzzle together, everything's different. The water's flowing different, and we figured out there's just certain spots we can plug and certain spots that we can run bobbers and jigs. Yep. And one thing about the water being lower is that there's actually a lot more safe spots to run a bobber and jig, yeah. it's open. And Jared said, we're gonna catch a big fish right on the other side of my bobber. And sure enough, <laughs> within one minute, yeah. I had Oof. that fish. Yeah. Yeah. It just looks fishy, man. Once again, pink. Yeah. Look at, he bent the hook. That's a 2X strong owner maxi jig hook too. But that's why we build them big like that so they don't just completely woof. They're built for big fish, bro. Yeah. So that's awesome. That same Celebrate. thing one more time. Yeah, there you go. You want your first day in the books, 10 fish to the boat. Yeah, we're we're super stoked. Can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs>